bring him over to our, our guest. Mr. Clifford Zeller has been teaching since 2002 and has worked with homeschool groups for the past 15 years. He teaches science, math, and history. Known as the Wandering Woodsman on YouTube, he has created over 400 videos, earned over 6,000 subscribers to his channel, and has wrapped, racked up over 1 million views in the process. He started creating YouTube content uh, during the summer of 2015. Since then, he's enjoyed showing people the history and nature that is found in their own backyard of Pennsylvania, including videos on fossil hunting, uh, wildflowers, uh, ghosts and legends, camping, exploring abandoned buildings, and so much more. But today he's here to talk, about, talk to us about caves of Lancaster County. So with that, I'm going to now turn the program over to Mr. Clifford Zeller. So I'm going to teach you like you're one of my classes. So there is there's no sleeping, uh, no cell phones, and uh, we'll collect homework at the end of class. Um, so I, there are there are tons of caves in Lancaster County. Um, and I was talking to several of you already. Um, I'm not going to talk about all of them, otherwise um, we'll be here too long. And a lot of them are on private property. And uh, so those, I, the, the ones I'm going to show you today are the ones that you can go to if you want to go to a cave, all right? Um, you can't, a lot of the ones on private property I don't go to. I mean, you could, but then you're trespassing and other things, so I don't post those on YouTube. <laughs> you know, well, you should, yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Post yourself trespassing in places. But, um, so these are all places that if you wanted to, you could go to. And if you wanted to, you could crawl into some of them as well. I was talking to, I don't know where she is. Someone who's talking, oh, there she is. So, she said she likes to go to the caves that you can walk into, which some of these are like that, but a lot of these are just caves, you know, like their size of a groundhog hole, and you got to go in. And uh, if you've never been in there, you don't always know. Like the one I backed down into, and I didn't really know what I was backing down into, so it was kind of interesting. Um, but it's fun. All right. And... Uh, yeah, so I did, oh, and uh, yeah, when Corey first asked me to do this back in the summer, I, I quick visited as many caves as I could <laughs> to get some more pictures. But I didn't get to all of the ones I wanted to get to, so there are others that you could go to, but I just didn't, I didn't get to those yet. Um, another problem is finding the caves. Um, because of liability issues and stuff, a lot of people keep caves where they are hidden, so you can't. You can go. You can search on the internet for them, but sometimes it's kind of hard to find information. And uh, so sometimes I go looking. And I don't always find things. But anyway, this the first place. This is in Mount Joy uh, Cove Overlook Park. It's right near the uh, Lancaster County Career and Technology School. It's right in that area. Here. Um, this is there's a book called Caves of Southeastern Pennsylvania. It's I think it's out of print. Um, if you have it, it's worth a lot of money too, I think. Um, but they have a, there's a web page online that gives coordinates for some of these caves, so that's why I look for it. But anyway, I went there twice, so this is, that's kind of what it looks like. A lot of the, oh, there's a, when you go to that park, there's like a limestone bluff, the one, you know, the one place you park. I, if, if you have questions about any of these places, I can give you more specific locations. I'm not going to bore you with exact locations. And if you want to know more, you can ask me later. But it was like a limestone bluff that was an old quarry. And of course, a lot of times you dig in limestone quarries, they find caves like this. Some of them are just little openings like this. I could not get in that one, but I think I took it. Yeah. I did, I did shine my light in there and take pictures. There's just little, little openings. There was a larger cave there. Um, that some of the sites say that a hermit used to live in there, but I don't. Some of those things you read online are true, and some are, I don't know where they come from. So. But that cave collapsed at one point. Um, but back in 1981, I think someone tried to 
open it up again. I think there's three guys. I forget how that went, but the one guy got killed. Um, if you you try to reopen a cave that collapsed on its own is not the, the best idea. But I think yeah, they, they opened it up and he they made a little hole and he got halfway in and then it collapsed on him again. But uh, you can you can read more about that if you want to. But he I think they almost got him out and then there was another collapse and then it, that was it then. But since then they destroyed the cave opening. Um, and I think I found where it, where it is is a pile of rocks. Not you can't. Uh, I tried to shine my flashlight in different places. But there was nothing to see. But there were some smaller ones along that bluff. They're just shining my light some of them. Because I, I, I have to, even, even if I can't go in, I have to see what's in there. So that's about the size of, ra of a raccoon right there, that's how big that one is. I mean, uh, the picture, it's hard to tell perspective-wise. It looks like you could walk into that one, but it's the size of a, like a cat or a raccoon. So, and you, you might get in, but getting back out is not good. <laughs> but there were... Let's see what's next. Oh, there's another small one. All right, this one, further down along the creek, I heard about some more that were down there. And that one, you can crawl into. Because there's some leaves there, you can kind of see perspective. So I did, I think that's the one I crawled into. Let's see here. Yeah, that's the one I crawled into. So it got, it, it got kind of a little bit bigger when you went on the inside, but you could crawl into that one. Um, I know a lot of people are claustrophobic. There's some people that, I, I post pictures on, on Facebook and stuff, and there's people that tell me they would never go in there, so, but I was talking to someone else. When I see a hole like that, I kind of have to, I have to go in to see what's in there, so. um, That's just the way, other people, like, I'm afraid of heights, but I will crawl into holes. <laughs> and you can, you can see, way in the back, you can see, like, the little stalactites coming down. So some of these caves do have, like, the little formations in them. I don't know if there's any in that one, but that cave kind of went off in two directions, but you couldn't, really, you couldn't go that far. Oh, there's just another little one. I could not make it into that one either. Let me shine my light in it again. Oh, yeah, and then I went back a second time, and there was another cave right along the creek that you could go into that one, but it was full of, you can see it was full of water. Because we had that flooding back in the earliest summer, so when the, when the creeks flood, they take all that mud and just fill the cave back up with. And I think someone had, dug, someone had dug that one out at one time, and you could actually go in. Oh, that's the one where, uh, most caves have like stories behind them, like there's creatures living in them and stuff. And apparently this one, they heard moaning coming out of it, the local children, and there was some ghost stories. But then, then some you know, adults went back and they found two baby cows that were in the cave or something. That's where the, that's where the moaning was coming from. So there was nothing, uh, like, a, no ghost or anything in there. All right, that's done. Um, where do I go? Two people. Oh, I think I have one picture here. This isn't really a cave. This is a rock shelter. Um, we're at Chickie's Rock Park. Right at the base of Chickie's Rock, there's a little rock shelter. Um, I just included it in this lecture. Um, it wasn't as impressive as I was hoping. So I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to find when I go to some of these places, but I'm thinking it was bigger at one time. I think it filled up with dirt over time. But they, it's right along the, there's like a rail trail in Chickie's Rock Park, right along the creek. I don't know if you've been there or not, but you can. And if you know where Chickie's Rock is, it's that big, huge mm -hmm. thing. You can't miss it. Well, I guess you could, but, um, <laughs> um, but right at the base of that rock is this indentation, the rock shelf. And they found some neat stuff there. I think they excavated in the 1800s. There was like a, you know, the typical stone tools and arrowheads and a dugout, a dug, one of those dugout canoes, I think they found there. Mm -hmm. When I went there, there was someone rock climbing. He was actually trying to climb up there and stuff. But, uh, I, like, I don't do that kind of stuff. But. I should let you guys pick the next one. Where do you want to go next? Alright, <laughs> 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 right, so but, since this is Lettuce, most of you have been there. Um, cause I, I've driven by the park so many times, but I never actually went there. Um, <clears throat> so there are 
there are those little openings. If you follow the spring all the way up, most, how many of you been there, I guess? Probably. Yes. Yeah, you go up and uh, I didn't know what I was going to find. I had read different things about it. Um, yeah, one of my students, I guess they said that they, well, I'll talk about that later. I don't know if they, what they did was illegal or not. But, <laughs> um, but there are a couple of openings. There's the one with the grate. I think that's the one that has the big cavern behind it. There's a larger cavern. All the caverns have been walled off by that rock. Where is this? But it's Spring Park. Head into the park. Yeah, yeah oh. if you follow that, that stream, like where the ducks are, oh, okay. you just keep going, you get to, I'll show, I think I have a picture up here of what the whole thing looks like. But there's like four, I think there's four of them, four little things. And like, I think this was the interesting one. You can shine your, uh, there's the one I shine my light in. And it, it, the reality is, I, I feel like it could almost fit in there. Um, yeah, this one was bigger. But like I said before, getting getting back out would be different. So I think in my video, I mentioned if you have a small child, you can send them in there. But somebody, <laughs> somebody I, I got some negative comments. Someone got mad at me for saying that. But I was just joking in the video with them. They thought it was serious, so that's what ta that's what happens when you say stuff like that. But but, uh, but yeah, if you were a small, if you, did, if you did have a child, you could tie a rope around them and send them in there. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, I'm not recommending it, but yeah, that's, that's what it looks like with the uh, all the. If you follow that stream, it leads to that thing right there. Yeah, the. Supposedly, actually, was, I said that story to my students. Actually, their mom talked to me. They said that if you dive underneath there, you can come up into the cave. Um, which I don't, I don't like. Once again, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, that's, and if there, if there isn't an entrance, you could be uh, in trouble. Because yeah. Anyway, so I'm not recommending you go there and do that. So, but that's just what I've heard is that the cave is still back there. You just that the only way to get to it is to dive under the water and hopefully come back up where the cave is. But, uh, but, that, but you could be in the paper for different reasons. <laughs> if you can, so. I'm not suggesting that. Anybody else have anything they want to say about what they know about? What's that? I just asked if anybody else has any information about that they want to share. Gladys might. Okay, Gladys. Who? Gladys. No, I, I don't have any. No, you don't? There was a hand back here, wasn't there? Except it says oh. they're at the black. God's fountain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God's fountain is always uh, flowing. Yeah. So, that day it was really full of flowing because all the rain. There was a hand. Here. I've heard that they've done ground imaging in that area and protected large rooms in that area. In the back there. And, well, off to the right, towards where the construction is. Okay. And I always thought that whenever they do construction, it'd be nice to suggest to the people in some form, and this would be something you could do, that if they should happen upon a room that might be worth exploring, right. and, and possibly saving it for possible commercial purposes, like a, a tour or something. If you tell them that you want to save the cave right. and put, close down their construction site, they're not going to go for it. But if you suggest that there could be some good purposes, any time you have something like that, they, they yes. say that. There's a thousand times as much cave available as has been found right. in that area. And, and so there, there could be huge caverns in that area producing all that water. Yeah, a lot of times these are just the start of something yeah. bigger back in there. Yeah, I, I read somewhere that there was another cave. I could, I, I, I didn't find anything. But. There's, no, there's no will to find these things in an area where there's houses and, right. and commerce and stuff. And, and if, if, if you convince somebody that there's a purpose to finding them, uh, even one person with a sinkhole in their yard that will allow it to open up, you, you, can, you can generate a really nice cave that way. Are we going to say bye to this?
Tuquan, Tuquan, Glen, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, of course, this is all the way down along the Susquehanna River, down near Peckway, I guess you call it, sort of. Um, I'd been there several times just hiking on that one trail that goes along the creek. A lot of people have been on there. But when I was doing research, um, I came across GPS coordinates that just said there was a cave down Peckway. So I just typed the coordinates on the computer. I don't know where they can pop up sometimes, but this one popped up right in this area, which was cool because it's on public land. So I knew I could go there. Um, sometimes these are called the herbs mill shelters. Um, I tried to do research on that. I couldn't find anything on why they're called that. Except that there was a mill along the creek called Herbs Mill. But uh, if you go down, and there's two parking lots for Tuquan Glen. There's like a little one, and then there's a bigger one. But right by the big one, there's this big, huge rock, and uh, which I never thought anything of. But that's where the, these caves are. And because you, you can climb all over, all around this big rock, um, I do have to say to be careful because I met someone there. People do fall off this rock, um, so I was kind of surprised that you can still. When a certain number of people die or get injured at a place, the, the parks generally shut the place, that area off. At this point, you can still go there. But at the very top of the rock, there's these neat arches at the top, which are pretty cool. And the place was pockmarked with all kinds of little holes going in like that. But the best place was this one here. Let's get it. I think I so there's like a little rock ledge. It drops off like 50 feet off the side there. And you got that overhang, and you got those little cubby holes. It's kind of like the perfect little, uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, it's a perfect little home. Um, <laughs> it's compared then. Yeah. Well, you, you, you could live in the one hole, you could rent the other one out. To <laughs> but you, you imagine if, if you were a Native American and you had a little family, or this, would be, this is like the perfect spot. To, yeah, I mean, I think, and there were several other little smaller holes for other kids or stuff, but um, it was a little, yeah, some of the dog, dogs, it was a little wet in there, but it was a neat spot. Um, I was not expecting that when I went there. Cause not, I, cause I, I didn't see any pictures, but I saw the arch, I, I saw a picture of the arch, but I don't know, when I go to these places, I don't always know what I'm going to find, so this was a pleasant surprise. Is it up on a ridge yet? Yeah, it's like a big rock. Okay. And you got to climb. It looks like a drop. Some ledges and stuff. Like I said, I'm afraid of heights. So there's several places where I was. Well, I did it anyway. But so, um, there was caves there, so I had to. Go, I had to go. But uh, anybody, anybody ever been there? Anybody else? You have been to those things? Huh? Oh, really? Yeah, we just we saw the big rock and, and we just climbed up there. Did you know the we, caves were there? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I was there twice before and I never knew. I parked right next to this thing and I never knew that the things were there. Uh, yeah, it's the, uh, well, the Susquehanna. Well, it's right near the Susquehanna, but there's another stream there. I forget what it's called, though. Right. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. What? My, my husband and I passed that twice. We haven't hiked there yet, but it's right before. It's the pinnacle, it's over by the pinnacle. Right, yeah, because I went to the pinnacle that day then, yeah. Oh, that's Yeah. Was that, is that, isn't that called River Road? Yeah, River Road. Yeah. It's near Holtwood. But if, yeah, it's near Holtwood. Yeah, but yeah, this was a fun place to explore if you like. If you're able to climb around rocks and want to, um, I might have missed some of the caves that are there, but it was a neat place. That was, in fact, that was one of my, that's probably one of the coolest places I've been to there, just with, I kind of stayed there for a little while. Anyway, but, all right. Pay attention. Time. Oh, yes. <coughs> So when you talk about caves in Lancaster County, Wind Cave is the one that most people think about. Um, have it, has anyone been to Wind Cave? Quite a few. Of you. How many of you went in? How many of you went in? in? <laughs> okay, so because you can go. The first time I was there, I did go in. I was by myself. I did go in, but then I saw it just kept going and going, and it gets it gets smaller and smaller. Um, but then I went back with one of my students who had been 
in a couple times, and he knew where, because it doesn't just go in, it goes in, it goes all over the place, um, and then it goes down. Where is that? Where are they? Uh, Peckway. Yeah, it's right here, Peckway. Yeah, it's right, it's right just south of the town, Peckway. Yeah. Was that House Rock Preserve? It's right near there, too. It's right along the Conestoga Trail. I think it's, it's real get, close to where the road makes a 90 degree turn. Yeah, that's where you can park, yeah. yeah. I think you can you, park you there. Can walk you can walk in a several hundred feet. Yeah. South. Yeah, there's a pole off on that bridge, something bridge road. But there's, 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 there's room for like two or three cars. But you can park at House Rock Preserve, too, I think, and it takes you there. But. If. If you want a serious cave to explore, this is the one to go to most locally. Um, if, you, if you're claustrophobic, then don't go in. <laughs> um, this is the first. This is the first time I went, so I didn't go in too far the first time. But you can see that's the. That's about as far as I went the first time. It, it's a big. Oh, this is a. This is a tectonic. This is like a crack cave. All the other ones were solution caves for limestone. This one's were just like a crack. And. Uh, like you saw, the, the entrance was just a big crack in the rocks. Yeah, there's that stick. I remember that stick sticking up. So. But this is where it started to get smaller. <laughs> and I think that's about as far as I went the first time. I looked down, saw it kept going. Let's see what's next. Oh, there's looking back. The entrance, the exit was kind of cool because there's that crack looking back out. That's looking in right at the entrance. That part you can walk straight into without crouching. Okay. All right, this is when I went back the second time. Because you can see there's added graffiti. Um, this place gets uh, trashed pretty often sometimes. A lot, a lot of people go there. So it's, uh, well, on the inside of the cave, too, it gets, uh, there's all kinds of graffiti and stuff in there. And, and I found, we found other, we found other stuff in there, too, that was, uh, Disturbing. <laughs> but this is when I went. I went oh, there's no. Was it just no? One of my students. I went with this one. There's looking back. That's your. That's your last view of daylight before you <laughs> descend. How wide is that? It was about as wide as my shoulders, so it feels very uh, enclosed. And it's kind of at an angle too, so you can't necessarily stand up straight. But oh, actually, we should talk about cave safety. Um, I have a helmet now. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, I, I did bump my head in this one, not bad, but it, it, it did bleed a little bit. Um, but this one, I was not prepared for what I was found in this one because we went. This one pushed me to some limits that I not was prepared for because there's places. Oh, yeah, there's a place here called Hell. Um, it's just an opening. You'll see it later. It's just an opening. It's like, it's like this big. It's like an opening. My student, my, his name is Josiah. He's like, we're going to go down there. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I was like, maybe you're going down there. But, yeah. um, but I did then. He said, just drop down and you'll feel rocks eventually. And <laughs> he, he, he was right, though. Since I'm taller, I did feel what he was talking about. I did not want to go down at first, but it did push me to, in, in a good way, it pushed me to some new limits. Um, so, but getting but getting back up was a different story then too. But, um, yeah, how did you get back up? You just have to like, <laughs> yeah, there's, you get to find places to put your, and you did the hole, and something, you, you couldn't even see the hole. Well, anyway, it was wow. somewhat disturbing. But, <laughs> but yeah, if you're going to go, if you're going to go into a place like this, like if you just want to go in, you can go in so far perfectly safe. Mm -hmm. But once you start going into the other deeper parts of the cave, a helmet is a, even, just if, it, even if it's just one of those bicycle helmets, just something, mm -hmm. you know, if you would fall or bump your head on things, just, it doesn't hurt to have one <laughs> from experience. <laughs> so, but that's looking, that's the last look back. Mm -hmm. Then it starts getting smaller mm -hmm. and smaller. <laughs> And it, it, keeps, it branches off into different directions. There's different ways out. There's some pictures of my student here too. Oh, there's that was the entrance to hell, right there. And it's as small as it looks on the picture. 
it was, um, so depending on, another thing to consider is depending on what your size is, you're not going to make it down there. So, I mean, you might, well, you might make it halfway down. But actually, someone did get, was it last spring? Somebody, was it a, boy, a group of Boy Scouts were in here? Someone got stuck in there. But it was not this, it was a separate part of the cave where you, they don't recommend you go. I think he fell and got wedged in the rocks, and then they had to, took a long time to get him out. Because just to get to where he was, it's difficult. It's difficult for a person to get through there, but to get equipment and the stuff they had to, it's even worse. So I did make it out of there. That's, this was going to what they call the cathedral. cathedral is that what it's called? A cathedral room? Or they call it the family room sometimes. It was a larger room in there that you could... I guess you could sit there with your family, I guess. But you had to crawl under, you could either go over, there was like a collapse there, you could either crawl over it or go under it. I went under it, but I got wet. Well, that's the outside again. That's starting over again. Um, there are maps online of this cave. They also have maps in the cave as well, which is kind of neat. So if, you're, if you didn't prepare and you're in this cave and you don't know where you are, they have maps placed in some of the rooms to help people out. Um, and they, they still don't know how far deep that cave goes. Um, I mentioned that family room. There's a place that, there's some tunnels that go off from there, but they don't know exactly where they go because it gets really tight and really small. Some people say it goes all the way down to the Susquehanna River, but uh, I don't think they fully explored it. So if you are looking for an adventure, then you can go. <laughs> so. I guess a lot of you were there when you said so. Anybody else want to say anything about this place? You mean Wind Cave? Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, basically it's a tectonic cave, yeah. as you said, which is it's also the largest one east of the Mississippi. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, yeah. And it's it's uh, in uh, Garnet Mica Schist. Yeah. And basically all the rock is split along fault zones. So it yeah. breaks up in big uh, sort of cubes, if right. you think of it that way. And it's opened up because it's on a hillside, right. and by gravity, that's how those they get. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are about three entrances. The lower oh, one's usually yeah. filled with ice until late yeah. in the summer, and um, about 700 feet of passage, roughly. Yeah, I was going to talk about the there's yeah there are other entrances. We went in that big one, yeah. but when we we came out one called the Birth Canal. <laughs> uh, it's, it's called it's called that for a reason. For a reason. So yeah. You feel like you are being birthed. birthed. Cause it would, yeah, because I saw I saw him crawl. It was it was yeah. insane. But I made it out though. Anything? Anybody have any other things? But um, the caving groups occasionally go there and clean up the graffiti. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm with the Philly Grotto and a couple other ones. Uh, if you go to the site, the National Speleological Society site, you can learn about ideas about joining groups and. Caving safely. Right. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. The the ice there kind of melts in the spring, but it keeps cold for another couple months. So we, we believe there's a, a giant storehouse of ice oh, back further the back, yeah. back in the yeah. cave yeah. that you can't reach, and right. we, we cover the whole mountainside there, looking for other entrances. Yeah, because there's places you can go in where just you can go in so far, it just gets narrow and narrow and narrow yeah. to the point where yeah. you, even if you wanted to, you can't. Um, I'm just I'm gonna give I'm gonna show th at least two other caves, just honorable mentions, I guess you call them. These are not in Lancaster County, so but they're nearby. This is this is Lewis Cave. This is in Carlisle. If you want a cave that you can walk into without being claustrophobic, this is the one to go to. There's a just north of Carlisle. It's called Cave Hill Park. And there's, there's a, if you want to know more about it, I can tell you about it. But this one, uh, what's the guy's name? David Robert Lewis, back in the 1790s. He was a robber. That's why he's called David Robert Lewis. But supposedly this is where he hit out at different times on his adventures. But it's a neat cave to explore if you want one that isn't so uh, claustrophobic. Like, you could stand up in it. That's how big it is. So is It goes back pretty far. Is that the one known as Bed Bug? No, that's a different one. Yeah, but I've been to bed bug though, yeah. There's no bed bugs in it though. It's called that because there's a mattress factory in front of it, I think. 
Oh, this one's muddy though. So you. Yeah, yeah I learned that the first time I went. So. <laughs> second, I went back a second time, and I think there's people. Just, yeah, I went back. I took some kids back last time, the family. But you can see you can walk through it. It was just very muddy. So, and there are different side patches, passages that go off too. So if you're looking for a non-commercial cave, one that you can walk into freely, um, this one is pretty cool. It has some cool history to it. Hmm. Not in Lancaster though. But. Um, another one is the Pinnacle Cave, but it's not referring to the Pinnacle in Lancaster County. Yeah. It's referring to the one up in Hamburg. This one isn't so easy to get to. You have to hike a couple miles to the top of the Pinnacle. But if you're able to get up there, it's a pretty neat place to go. It's, it's kind of like Wind Cave. It has that crack in the opening. Oh, there. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> um, it goes in like the, like the one at Wind Cave. There's a chimney you can crawl up to. I did not do that. Um, but then it turns to the left and just keeps going down into the mountain. And that's where I went with several of my students. That's the, that's the chimney. That's the top of the pinnacle. The view is worth it alone. Yeah. I forgot that was in there. Those are the two people that went in with me. How long did it take to get out there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Um, the short way is about an hour and 45 minutes. So, the short way. And it goes uphill too. That's the so. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we found clothing in there, left over from stuff like so. But that's how small it was. It just kept going and going, squeezing through. That's my shoe there at the bottom. And we crawled through that, too. That was another interesting crawl. So it kind of went down. Um, but if you're, if you're young and agile and want to experience, that was one as well. Even if you're older and still agile, you could uh, <laughs> still try it. <laughs> or if you're in that frame of mind. Yeah, it's all, it's, all, it's all what's in your head. If you think you can do it, then... All right. And that was supposed to be haunted, too. I've heard different stories about it, so... Most of which, I, supposedly there's a dragon that lived in there and came out. Sometimes. Once you're there, you realize a dragon wouldn't fit in there. <laughs> so, uh, and there's certain, of course, it always has the Native American legends that there's a <coughs> burial ground in there and stuff. I didn't find anything, so uh, it makes for good st stories. Have you ever been to that one? <coughs> I don't know. Oh, it's there. Yes. It's, once, you're up, once you're up there, it's kind of hard to find unless you know where it is up there. Just one more. Um, this is Plum Creek Cave. This is Berks County, right near Blue Marsh Lake. Um, that is that's a small hole. You know, I told you at the beginning. There's the one cave I just backed into, and the website said you would eventually feel a solid ground. That's the one right there. Um, so I made it down. That's I think that's looking down into it yet. But then I got, it, it, it kind of opened up a little bit. You couldn't stand up in it, but it was kind of neat down there. You can't stand up in there? You can't, no. Oh, it looks bigger than Yeah, but I was on, yeah. you had to crawl the whole time. And there was lots of, uh, there was lots of raccoon poo in there too, so. <laughs> if you're not into, if you're not, yeah. if, if you're not into that, then uh, you might want to stay out with some. This one had some neat, Yeah, there's some, this one had some formations in it. I'm not sure. Oh, there's the raccoon poo. All that white stuff. <laughs> had mold growing on it. Mold. So, I, I, wanted, I wasn't, I wasn't really, I always find poo in case, but I wasn't prepared for that much, so I didn't go too far. But they are kind of cool looking because they, 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 this fuzzy mold rolls all over them, so. Um, I did take closer up pictures, but I didn't bring those with, so. <laughs> Oh, there's the forms. There's the, uh, so. They look huge, but they're actually only about this tall, because I, I was crouched down in there, so. 
There's other formations there called Bacon. It's like where a pond, like a pool of water used to be. It looks, the, the water isn't there, but it looks like bacon on the ground. So that was, those are pretty cool. It was hard taking these pictures because you're on the, you're like laying on your mm -hmm. side and stuff like that. Any ever, anyone been in this one? No? <laughs> it was terribly hard to find because it was just that one little hole. But I was determined to find it. I, I did. I may go back someday and Problem with some of those other holes, we'll see. Oh, oh, I should mention that too. Like this cave, I brought a friend along. He was uh, he was on the outside of the cave while I was on the inside. So just in case, because if you go alone to one like this, if you get stuck, you know, there's <laughs> you're gonna be in there for a while. So um, if I did get stuck, he could at least hear me or know I was in there and go get help. Um, I mean, someone always knows where I am, but uh, until you don't show up in the evening and they. Uh, plus, like this one, they may, I guess they might probably, I guess the, the authorities would know where that one is, but you might, you might be in there for a while, so it's always, if you're going to be in a uh, sketchy place, it's always good to have someone else, either with you or on the outside, that can actually go get help. That's something else to consider if you do stuff like this, so. Did you say that's in Burks? Yeah, it's right near Blue Marsh. Blue Marsh Lake? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Right near the, right near the prison? I think there's a prison yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know. so it was all—it was all public land. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, right near the uh, Union Canal towpath trail, mm -hmm. yeah, one yeah. section of it, Re Reber's Bridge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's right near it. It's near there. I—I I can show you close to where it is later. Yeah. Any questions? Oh. Any comments? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know anything about the current status of Gertie's Notch? No. no. You know, they closed it off. You can't even drive in to look up for maybe the past five years or so? Yeah, I don't, mm -hmm. so I didn't know. I don't know anything about that one. No. Okay. No. A lot of these places do get, they get gated off and closed because, because of, I was talking about some of the liability issues. Mm -hmm. People don't want you. Mm -hmm. If you get hurt, then you can sue them. And then, so, anyway. It's, it's kind of... It's kind of sad because there's, there's responsible people who want to explore these places, and then we can't go in anymore just because other people go in and do stupid stuff, and then it kind of ruins it for everybody. But, uh, Does Lancaster County have any commercial park? Uh, for commercial caves? Yeah. I don't think so. Or did I? Yeah, I didn't mention the commercial ones, but yeah. I've been to, like, you go to like Crystal Cave and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, right there. They're, they're kind of neat, but they don't have that feel of... Well, they say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're still kind of neat. If you want a safe, comfortable you experience. You can't handle it. You don't have to carry a light. Yeah, true. Because it's lighted for you. Anything else? Way in the back. Have you found anything besides raccoon droppings and <laughs> caves that are of interest? Yes. <laughs> Human droppings we have found. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was in Wind Cave. That was one of the. That was one of the sadder things. You know, it was. It was done deliberately in a very obvious place. So that's why they. Yeah. That's, yeah so that's why the gate. They've, they've been talking about Wind Cave. They've been talking. There's been talk of closing that one off because of stuff like that. So. But yeah. As far as other animal droppings, I don't know. But. No. Uh, no car Indian carvings or nothing. Not in, not, not in the caves. Yeah. Just, there's, there's some out in the Susquehanna River, but I didn't see any in the caves. Bats, yes. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Oh, it be bats. Yeah. Like that Lewis cave we had up there was a bat in that one. But. He had his hand up there. No. I was wondering if you have any pictures of the, the ice model or the ice cave of the water camp. No, but several up. people have told me about it. They just haven't made it there yet. That was commercialized, so I was thinking that the, the wind cave has permanent ice in it. It might be commercial opportunity for someone. Yeah, but I think, like, I think he mentioned, I think we, you can't, like, get to the ice in wind cave. Or if you can, they don't know how yet, so, yeah. But they could, it would be cool. I was going to say anything about money rocks or the silver mine? Oh, yeah. So you found Silver Mine Park. Silver Mine Park and the other park I'm thinking of is Money Rocks. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to both of them. 
The silver mine, yeah, silver mine park. That's silver. That's a mine. Yeah, but there are some cave like areas you can go into. That's down near Peckway too, isn't it? Yeah, I was there a couple of years ago. Yeah, if you're into caves and holes in the ground, you can go there. The main one is gated off, but up above it there are these. There's an archway there too you can crawl through. And there's a wooden fence around the one hole in the ground says warning. So what did I do? <laughs> yeah, so that, do you ever see warning signs? That means if you're looking for holes, that means there's a hole down there. So I went down there. So if you, but you have to, yeah, you have to be able to get out. But I, I couldn't get out. Another one bricked off though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You went down through there. Yeah. And you had to brick off. Yeah, I went. I crawled down a hole. It was like cinder block. They blocked something off. I forgot about that. Yeah. I, it makes you wonder what's back there. So. Yeah, and then Money Rocks Park is cool too. That's over near Welsh Mountain. I hear there's caves through there, so I haven't found them. There was a quarry there. Yeah. I, I, I didn't hear about the caves. Now. <laughs> I have to go back. But there, there's there's carvings on there too, names and dates on some of those rocks. That money rocks, really old dates. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Maybe just comments on some of the caves you showed. Um, the uh, one at Chickies is in Quartzite. It's not a uh, it's not a soluble rock. Right. So that, that little anticline that you showed, um, there's no possibility of a cave being there. It's a nice little rock shelter right. there that you indicated. And um, that first cave you talked about where a person died yeah. uh, near Mount Joy, that, that was actually a, a limestone quarry with a face of about 30 feet. And he died in the rubble. Uh, on a talus slope, so right. there's no cave there that was ever found. He was going in because air was coming out, and you could actually go right up to where he went in and almost see his feet, because as he tried to maneuver through all the loose rock, about a football-sized rock pinned him in at his chest, and he couldn't go forward uh -huh. or backward. And once he died, they just got the power shovel in, and, and within an hour, had his yeah. body out. Yeah. And uh, there's only ever been four deaths in all of Pennsylvania in caves that I'm aware of. Right. Uh, and only one by an experienced person. The, the other one you showed in Pinnacle Caves, uh, that was like 1928. Okay, if I got one so far and didn't feel comfortable anymore. Right. Then I kind of, you're, you kind of, most of us have, most of us have a conscience that kind of yeah. starts telling you. It's a that. safe sport if you're properly yeah. prepared. Yeah, you mentioned the light too. Um, you should always have, I have, I have camera lights because I have video, but I also have backup flashlights and mm -hmm. backup batteries too, because it gets dark in there. So. so when was that one that guy got pinned in there? That, what, the, do you know what year that was? I think was? it was 81, um, wasn't it? Oh, was that in 81, Frank, when that guy got pinned in? Oh, okay, on, on Route 81. No, no, when, that, when, what year was that? The one that when got that pinned guy in Mount Joy, was that 81? You mean the Mount Joy cave? Yeah. I, I forget the year, but I was there for like almost 24 hours. Oh, right. till so, I mean, it was out. it was recent. I mean, it wasn't like yeah, in the was, 20s. Yeah, it was a handful of years ago. Okay. And, yeah, I'm thinking it might be, what, 10 years or something? It was eight, maybe it was 91. I 91, forget. 91, something oh, like that. Yeah. It's one big blur. Yeah. It's probably on private property, but... Do you have any comments on the cave that would have been, was that on a Baumberger farm? Oh, we were just talking about that with Corey earlier. He, I, I, I only found out about that one by reading his article online. Oh. So, but I've never, he, he's driven by it. He said you can see kind of a, there's like yeah. a pile, you can kind of see back in a little bit. But. Yeah, it's on the property of Rock Lidditz now, that yeah, they own that. Cool. But it was in the Baumberger field just north of town. But if you drive, uh, let's see, uh, West Newport Road towards like, Mannheim, and if you look, Rock Lidditz will be on your left. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go down that road, you'll see kind of a, I don't know, a mound. I have a picture of it in my article if you want to Google it. But you can't, we were, I was talking to him about this earlier. A lot of these things, you know, are from so long ago and they've been sealed so long ago that these days you can't even tell. You just see a mound of yeah. rocks or something. And that's the case with, with Bonberger Cave. Uh, that was sealed up around the 1930s for security, you know, safety. Mm -hmm. uh, I did find an old news article, which I think I mentioned in that article. Uh, you know, at one time, again, the 20s and 30s, when things were very different, they used to take classes, uh, class, classrooms of kids down there. In other words, 
students down there to see the cave. It was about, uh, to give you a size, for those that aren't familiar, it was about uh, 12 foot high and at least 20 foot back. Um, but again, it was sealed. It was a little quarry was back there. There was some Native American artifacts found back there uh, around the turn of the century. So, yeah, it's, um, you know, a lot of these caves are on private property and Again, it's, things are different now, how they were. Um, I mentioned the cliff too. I, some of you probably heard the supposed cave or the beer cave that was underneath the Limit Springs Brewery. Yeah. Yeah. Ethan, I know you're familiar with that. Uh, across from the, the Limit Springs mm-hmm. Park, that was sealed off years ago. Uh, and there's so many you know, legends and lore too about those tunnels you know, connect, connect through uh, Main Street, right Aaron? Mm-hmm. Aaron knows about that too. So. I mean, it's kind of hard to believe. I, I don't know if all that's true, but there's so many caves now that people will probably never find because they were sealed up, and now everybody who ever knew about that is long gone. So, right. Yeah. I just want um, the c- first cave you were talking about. You said that was at uh, Cove Overlook Park. Right. Are you? Can you? Are there like hiking trails there? Yes. Yeah, there's some of them are paved actually. Or yeah, if you, I parked. I parked right by there. There's a gun range there. Oh, you've never been there, but there's a. I forget. Well, we just moved here last year, so I don't. Oh, okay. Know, I'm trying to find out about a lot of places, but um, rather than going, I don't think my husband's going to be going in these caves. But um, Dark. for a commercial cave, because I know how commercial. Yeah. Caverns and stuff could be because I was in a lot of commercial caverns in Virginia where I was from. But is mm-hmm. there one that you would recommend or anybody would recommend that they think is a really nice commercial cave? cave. I've only been to Crystal Cave in Berks County. Hedge Cave. Hedge Cave. Hedge Cave because it's sealed by both. None of those are, are big fantastic things. Nothing here. Yeah. But, but Indian Echo is good near Hummelstown. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. That's, oh, that's right. 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 That's Walking farther than going on a boat. You know how far that bar- boat went out on the lake? It was like a total waste. Yeah. Well, this, no, this is you, you go through the caves yeah. in a boat, okay. and there are. Ten caves. Yeah. I, when I was, we were up there with the Boy Scouts. We actually did summer camp up there, and for the kids to get their geology merit badge, they had to go there, which was fine by me because I hadn't been there. And when we got in there, I thought, ooh, this is pretty neat. I want to go up there because there's a wildlife park up there. Yes, there is. There is mm-hmm. a wildlife park next to it. So, yeah, it was definitely worth the trip. Thank you. And, and Lost River Caverns near Hellertown is not too bad. Yeah, Lost Cavern. For a Pennsylvania commercial cave. <laughs> Anything else? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. 